Shackleton had tried extra hard to get back to the bed, but the many failed attempts kept coming his way. All the boats he borrowed kept getting stuck in the horrible pack ice, but he still didn't give up. It was like the ice was a fetus fly trap catching all it can in its huge jaws. Finally, a little steamboat called Yoko, which was like a tiny karate kid, speeded away through the unbeatable monster of ice. He was getting nearer and nearer to his beloved friends who were exhausted but excited for Shackleton to come home. As Shackleton appeared, the crew cried, Boss, boss, how are you? Shackleton replied, I'm well, my men, how are you? The men cheered, We are well, boss. Well, did good too. Although Shackleton was defeated, he still got up and shaked hands with all the men, and especially with Wild. He was an honour to have, an honour. The men all gathered round and saw a rescue helicopter flying down to get the men and bring them home. They all jumped into the helicopter and flung themselves down. It was a day of terror, a day of desperation. As they flew over the wonders of the land, Shackleton interrupted, Men, do you know you have all worked extra hard these two years and haven't given up? Really, boss? cried Wild. Yeah, really, boss? replied Hermy. Oh. oh, but you have all been good on this journey, shouted Shackleton. Okay, boss, you win. We did, and also enjoyed it all bad and good, replied Wild. As they flew, all the men smiled and sat down comfortably and enjoyed the ride.